Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we have demonstrated how to generate, load, and parse RSA public key and private key. In this short video, it will continue RSA encryption schema, how to perform RSA encryption and decryption using Crypto++ library. The example in this video will be RSA classical Bob write message to Alice. Bob want to send a message to Alice. They decide to use RSA encryption schema. So Bob write a message into a text file. He use Alice's public key to encrypt the message and send encrypted file to Alice. Alice receive encrypted file and use her private key to decrypt Bob's file and read the message. In previous open SSL examples, we have demonstrated the similar example how to perform RSA encryption and decryption using open SSL library. You can compare both examples and have your own opinion on what is the advantage and the disadvantage between two libraries. Here on the Linux, we have created two program RSAK encrypt.cpp, RSAK decrypt.cpp. RSAK encrypt.cpp read text message and use public key to encrypt the message and save to encrypted file. RSA decrypt.cpp will read encrypted file and use private key to decrypt the message then save to the text file. For the encrypt program, there's a three argument. First is the public key. Second is the text file, which is original text message. And the third argument is encrypted file. First, we instantialize a random pool called RND pool and using IV to update random pool. The IV have to be 122 bit and 16 byte. And then we have instantialized private key and the public key object. After validate command line argument, first we have to load public key from the key files. As the key file from the file, so we use the file source argument one true and uh, hx decoder as a filter. Then we use a public key load, load key file. This is uh, similar from previous video, load key from key files. After that, we have to instantialize encrypt object. Second, we instantialize encrypt object. We use a classical command used OAEP SHA 256 algorithm. And then we can use a crypto plus plus pipeline structure to perform encryption. So we use a file source argument two true, pass to the encryptor filter, random pool, encryptor, hex encoder, and sync to the argument 3. So now program will be finished. Here for RSC encryption schema, there's a couple of things very important is a plain text length, suffer text length. The maximum length of a plain text string that can be encrypted with RSA can be determined by fixed max plain text length. It means the text length for encryption has a maximum limitation. Same thing also for the cipher text length. The length of the result cipher text can be determined by the method fixed cipher text length. So now we just 
get this length and print out to see what is the length for RSC encryption with the Crypto++ library. First, we print out the algorithm name. Second is the fixed max plain text length. Now we save our program. Next program will be rickdecrypt.cpp. Similar as the previous program, first instantialize random pop object and we update random pole with IV, which is 122 bit IV, 16 byte. And then we instantialize RSA private key and RSA public key. The usage will be three arguments. First argument is a private key file. Second argument is encrypted file. And the third argument is decrypt files. This is Alice use her own private key to decrypt Bob's encrypted message. After validate command line argument, first we load the private key. From the key files. Second step will be instantialize decrypt object RSA OAEP. SHA 256 algorithm. And then we perform pipeline from argument 2, HAX decoder, pass screw filter decryptor, and sync to the argument 3. We source from private to actual decoder, pass through the decryptor filter, which is our decryptor, and the sync to the argument 3. Similar as the encryptor, we have algorithm name, fixed maximum plain text length, and the cipher text length. See if this, we go back to our first program. We copy this three line. We go back to our decrypt program and paste here. We rename this to decryptor so we can print out the maximum plain text length and the maximum cipher text length. Now we save our program. We compile our program. Here is our executable. Here is our key file. We have a public key file and a private key files. Here is our original message. So now we encrypt using public key text message. Now we run the program. Our maximum print text length is 190 byte and the fixed cipher text length is 256 byte. So we cut. This is our encrypted message, and this is our original message. Now we decrypt this. Decrypt using private key. Input is my encrypt message dot txt. For the decryptor, the maximum plain text length is 190 byte, and the cipher text length is 256 byte. So let's cut. Message decrypt back same as original message. As we know, 190 byte is uh, not enough. So if we have a big file, now we create a message file with 10 lines. We save our message. We delete this two file. 
we run this program again public key text message you can see we got a problem so in order to encrypt decrypt a large message file we have to write a program in the loop read file 190 byte by 190 byte to encrypt and decrypt we create a two program rck encrypt large.cpp rck decrypt large.cpp in order to be able to encrypt and decrypt big text files so in this example the usage will be the same first argument is a public key second argument is a text file third argument is encrypted files we use the same method to load public key from the key file we instantialize our encrypt object which is OAEP SHA 256 algorithm and we get the maximum text length and the cipher length because it's a big file we have only 190 bytes the limitation so we have to make a loop to read text length byte from the argument 2 text file into the text string encryptor and sync to the argument 3 So first, we instantialize the text string and the file source from argument 2 using files and then we sync into text string. For our sync, which is the hex encoder and sync to the argument 3. Also for the file sync, we use the fields because we have to be write byte by byte. Each loop we read. In each loop we read text length byte from the text files. Text string true encryptor from the text string pass the encryptor and the sync into our cipher string then we write a cipher string to encrypt the files after that we clear our text string for the next loop at the end of the loop write a message end now we finish our program we go to our RSK decrypt large.cpp. Usage first argument is a private key file, second argument is encrypted file, and the third argument will be the decrypt files. After validate command line, we load our private key from the key file. We instantialize decrypt object using the RSEs OAEP SHA 256 algorithm. The name is the decryptor. We get our the max plain text lines and the cipher lines. We still make a loop source from the argument two into the cipher string decryptor and uh, sync into argument three. First, we instantialize cipher string and the file source false. file source from argument 2 not read date during the instantialization hex decoder and the sync into cipher string file sync sync to the argument 3 which is the text files when we read from the encrypted file this is a suffer lens, but we have to time two because the hex encoded file two byte is the one cipher string byte. Each loop we centralize a plain text string. Oops. 
second parameter sync to the string this is from cipher string sync into the plain text pass through the decryptors after that we write into text file clear the cipher string for the next loop end of loop end of a message finish our program we save our program we compile our program here is our executable we remove this here is our key first we encrypt large public key my text message our maximum length is 190 but we can encrypt the large text message files we decrypt our message private key encrypt the message and my here is our original message here is our encrypted message here is our decrypt message hello this is Hui thanks to watch my video which it's useful and it's going to be great to have your feedback